If you're like me, you have to be excited about Auburn football. Pass is uh, complete to Hunter out of the backfield, and Hunter has a first down. Breaks a tackle and two into the open field inside the 20. The 10, the 5, touchdown, Auburn! He please promises to bring back excitement to Auburn football. Frankly, all of us were <laughs> as well. <laughs> Ashford. Off the right side, Robbie Ashford. He might score, he does. Touchdown, Auburn. Jarquez Hunter was leading the way in the backfield. And a 24-yard touchdown. Hugh Freeze and Philip Montgomery are going to build a strong running game. Big hole, Jarquez Hunter. It is a foot race and there is nobody in the state will catch the true freshman. We all know that games are won in the trenches. Coach Freeze and his staff went out and signed 18 linemen during their first recruiting class. The offensive line looks to be in better shape for 2023 and the running back room is loaded. Even without a passing game, Auburn averaged 274 yards rushing during their last four games on 5.9 yards per attempt. Jarquez Hunter is ready to be the primary back, but Auburn has quality depth to support him. Amari Austin, Brian Batty, and Jeremiah Cobb should provide a great supporting cast. Did you know since 1992 Auburn has won 194 games with only 23 losses when the Tigers rushed for at least 55% of the combined rushing totals. I did and I am only six years old. As the offensive coordinator of Philip Montgomery's team has won 55 games with only five losses when his offenses accounts for 55% of the rushing yards. That's impressive. Hugh Freeze has won 59 games with only five losses when his team rushed for at least 55% of the combined rushing totals. That is better than watermelon taffy. Second and 10 of the 25. Handoffs to Scott. He sweeps the left to the 30, 35 down the sidelines to the 40. Makes a move to the 45, the 50. He's to the 40. He could go. He's on the 25, the 20. They dive at him. They miss him. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Oh, miss. And the Rebels have regained wow. the lead. Wow, that's all I can say. Wow. Wow, a simple re outside option, David. Receivers do it again. During the 2006 season, teams from the SEC combined to win 61 games and lose only 10 when they work for at least 55% of the combined rushing totals. That's a V. 6%. During the 2006 season, Philip Montgomery was the quarterback coach for the Houston Cougars. The Cougars won four games and lost three despite having an explosion pass offense. They averaged 307 yards passing and 100 and 21 yards rushing while the passing ball 53% of the time. That's a lot of passing. Head coach Art Bryles committed to the running 
keeping the remainder of the season and the Cougars won six of their last seven games. The Cougars averaged 215 yards rushing during their final seven games and won their conference championship. They ran the ball 57% of the time to close out the season. First quarter, a big one for the tie. 23 points, nothing here in the second. Pass across the middle. That's Avery, one man to beat. And he does. Touchdown, Houston. Reports. We'll hear from him a bit later. Inside and off and so much running room for Anthony Aldridge. Left to play. Keenum dumping it off. Aldridge breaking one tackle, breaks another, and now he's off to the races. Now we'll work under center. Quarterback Keep. He dives. Does he get in? Yes, he does. Touchdown. Blake Joseph had been the starter, and he started to heat up a bit offensively. But now it's Keenum. It's Aldridge. He's in the end zone, and we've got a tight ball game. Side. Gotta think it's some sort of trick play right here. There's the fade, the jump ball. Ball is intercepted Alabama. Look for Auburn to control the line of scrimmage better than last year and to use tempo to make the offense more dynamic. A better running game and run defense alone will translate to a winning season.